Hi everyone, welcome back to part 35 of my Temtem playthrough. Last episode we finally reached Saipanku and we did try to capture the Belsodo clan in their flying palace which I think is a pretty interesting idea. Unfortunately they did escape although we were able to rescue someone who they were kind of pursuing. Hopefully we get a bit more context on this and are able to actually solve this whole mystery. The title screen is amazing but of course here is my team and as you can see I have a new Temtem. Oshukan in last episode actually evolved into Oshukai and it's at level 65 right now. I had to go ahead and level it up just in case I have a dojo battle in this episode. It did evolve around level 60 and I think leveling up Temtems right here in Iwaba is actually pretty easy. After all the Scarabat over there are pretty strong and they do give you 2 TVs for HP. Either way, I'm super excited. After all, we have this whole city of Sipanku to explore. We also have the dojo which I'm actually not sure when we'll get to actually battle. As we enter, I'm just going to go ahead and explore the city itself. Let's see how many new quests that we can actually add and how many of them that we can actually complete. I'm also sure that we have multiple different um, storylines that are yet to complete. We have one with Max and the other one with Carlos where he has mentioned that we have to explore Sipanku to see where we might end it. We have to also talk to Dr. Sasaya who did mention about the thefts in her lap. Probably will be able to help Carlos with that. Anyway, um, I'm taking my time and running around. After all, this city is actually really well designed. I think it's quite creative and does look quite modern as well. Anyway, it seems that this is where we have our very first quest. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. It seems that we do have to help him organize his stuff. Which I think we can help him with. Alright, seems that we just had to identify a couple of items. I think some of these quests that we have in the city are pretty small. So I'll try my best to go ahead and complete them. According to that NPC, apparently someone has taken his manga to read. And we do have to get it back. Hmm. I wonder where it is. He did say that it might be in the third floor. But it doesn't seem to be the case. Interacting with different items. Um, I feel like I'm rudely entering these people's house. After all, I believe we have not yet asked their permission to look into their items. But we are just going through them regardless. Eventually, we do talk to this NPC here to check if he does have the manga. But unfortunately, according to him, uh, he has given it to one of his other friends, which is irresponsible of him. But I think we'll be able to just go ahead and um, try to find this third person. In between this, I did come to the Temporium. So this is where it is. Unfortunately, I... Ooh, here he is. I was wondering where the Tem Deck Manager is. After all, we have been increasing our Tem Deck slots one by one. Um, that quest is still going to be present. I think we have a couple more places where we'll be having uh, Temporiums, where we'll be able to definitely go ahead and get more items. But of course, it seems that we have another quest here. Before that, let me quickly enter this building. It seems that this is the building where we'll get an update on the manga. Going up to the first floor, we have... Ooh, no mind, this is not for the manga. It's actually for another quest where we have to get the sign of the author on the book. I believe it's also a manga, but it's for the one resident in Dennis. Either way, that quest is completed. If I do go back to Dennis at some point, I'll go ahead and end that quest as well. 
as for other things we do have dr sasaya in front of the dojo but i think i will um complete other things before going to the main quest um of course here we are this seems to be some kind of laboratory maybe it does belong to dr sasaya after all we do see couple demdems here all are digital ones interesting though considering that these digital demdems were created by dr sasaya it is actually pretty interesting the next quest is from this lady right here apparently she is the um i could say the gatekeeper for the temple that is right here uh, we do have a temple here in sipanku and it is a shrine for the crystal type temtems where you'll be able to evolve your 2i into its part crystal type pretty interesting but not something we'll be able to complete right now the next thing is on this guy right here apparently he is in a office and he needs us to run some errands for him which i can definitely do Ooh, all right. Um, we have a couple of options here. This is a bit trickier. Um, all right. I will try my best on these options. Hmm. Okay. Let me have another go. And this time, I'm just gonna go ahead and try another different option. All right. I was able to. kind of go through the option so you can definitely go ahead and pause the videos to get the right answers over there i think he was the guy where uh, with whom we had to talk to in order to get the musical notes for the quest that is back in clean peaks if you remember there are musical crystals in a cave over there that we had to kind of complete so we do have an update on that quest as well A couple more question marks on the map, so let me quickly go ahead and address those. Hmm. Apparently, they are in the lower floor. It's pretty easy to confuse in this city. After all, most of these buildings do come on top of each other, uh, so it's a bit difficult to kind of decide where you're supposed to go to. But here is the lunch that was packed. Ah, uh, this lunch is for the guy in the office. Hmm. Look at this one. He definitely looks like Ash Ketchum. Uh, maybe it's a reference. Maybe it's not. Either way, I think we are almost done with everything. There is one quest here, which is a bit trickier. Satoru here does need our help um, with convincing the people here that we need their help for the Congress. Apparently, they think well, Satoru clan people are pretty nice. so we do have to convince them otherwise after all we have been a witness to uh, everything that bell soto clan has done till now so definitely we are the right person for this task but of course you do have to select the right option which i'm actually doing right here um go ahead and just uh, look at the options before you enter it Uh, this one's a bit trickier. I myself didn't really uh, know the answers. I had to look up in the internet for this one. I could have tried just um, giving it a try multiple times, but I really didn't want to uh, waste more time on this. Here's another question mark. I think this is a house with the manga. Yep, anime enthusiast gives us back the manga for the guy. Uh, Let's go ahead and give him back his book. We're definitely doing quite a lot of um, updates on quests here. I wonder how many we can actually complete. Going back into this office building, here we have the guy Yao who needed the sandwich. Hmm. He does want us to talk to the designer for the. Hmm. All right, Doctor Professor Professor Victor, who is in. Let's see the first floor. 
Hmm, not the first floor, so he's probably in the third floor. Yep, here he is. Let's quickly go ahead and talk to him. I think all of these people in this office are people of, I guess, kind of being represented as the game designer and the storyteller, everything on that. Um, which is pretty nice. Having a quest that depends on them is pretty uh, interesting to see. Either way, um, after a couple of different options, which by the way, I am selecting these options in random. I don't think any of these options will really matter. But the thing that took me by surprise is that once you do complete all of these options, he'll actually challenge you on a battle, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting. I was actually, um, I guess, quite surprised. Was not expecting this battle. Either way, I think we'll be able to defeat him. Here are his temptems. They are quite lower leveled. It's surprising, but that's all right. I'm actually pretty happy on using Oshkar. I actually leveled it up to the same level that all of my other team members are, which is level 67 in this case. I think I, by mistake, said level 65 in the beginning of this episode. Koshikai is part melee and part Earth Tentem. It's definitely going to be pretty helpful for the upcoming Crystal Dojo. Um, you can definitely also use your fire type Temtems as well. I'm not sure about the other ones, but I'm pretty sure that my starter is weak to Crystal type Temtems, so I do have to be a bit careful. As for the others, um, I'm also pretty sure that my Gazuma is super weak to crystal type Temtems. Uh, that is an issue as well. Now, since I did defeat Professor Victor, we can actually come back and talk to Yao here. Once we do complete his quest, we have two more different quests opening up. Interesting. Hmm. Let's quickly go ahead and see what we can do for this quest. Seems that this is the guy we had to actually talk to. John Hacker and Marcos. Hmm. Multiple guys are actually interacting. But they need our help. Hmm. To be honest, these are the other quests that I had absolutely no idea on which options to select. So all of these upcoming quests, especially here in Sipanku, I'm just going to try and check out the internet so that I don't actually delay this episode. Either way, I did pick up an item that was required. Um, apparently, there's a, another guy, Q Angel, who actually needs our help as well. Although he doesn't really interact with us. To be very honest, this quest is quite tough and it is also confusing. I guess it's kind of my fault as I'm really not reading the dialogues. But as far as I understand, they're trying to um, ask us to kind of run smaller errands on different tasks based on designing or based on the app errors. It's just everything over there. Um, I believe we are almost done, especially with this quest. Although we do have a quest with Q Angel over there, he doesn't really interact with us right now. So we are just going to go with the quest that is still in progress and see where it goes. Finally, we do talk to Oscar here and finally he does give us a couple of different items. Um, all right. The next step is to head upstairs. Now, all of these quests, the only reason I'm able to actually complete them is mainly due to the fact that I have indicators in this game and it actually tells you what the next step is. At this point, we had another multiple choice question here. So I did have to try it again. Initially, I tried it without um, checking the answers on the internet. But of course, as usual, I did fail around two times. So I'm just gonna try searching the answer for this. There we go. 
um it works all right we were finally able to kind of help them hmm he actually wants us to bring him a ori i believe we'll be able to find this temtem in the next area that we are going to go to so i'll just go ahead and come back to this quest once i catch that temtem um as for anything else i believe we have nothing more to do in this building although i did actually talk to a couple of npcs just to see the dialogue that they might give although i must say these plushies are super cute and they're being packaged and being sent out to fans out in the world either way i think we are ready to head out and try to complete the main quest after all we have completed everything else ooh there is one more question mark which i think i know what it is for yep it is the first building that we did enter into quickly talking to uh, this npc here we're able to hand over the manga and we do get a tc in return for our trouble that is all on this quest a lot of quests here in sipangu and to be honest this actually took me over half an hour to just complete all of these side quests now that we have completed everything it's finally time for us to head about but just before that let me uh, run around the city to see if there are any more stickers that i can actually pick up i'm pretty sure uh, they'll actually hide quite a few of them right here i did miss one more sticker but that's all right i will pick it up at some point i uh, especially now that i know it exists over there i believe the only thing left for us to do is talk to dr sasaya she is right here of course she invites us to the city which is pretty nice hmm she wants us to interrogate the guy that we were able to rescue in the last episode interesting she also asks our help and does tell us that we can work with carlos to investigate and find out who is the thief for the digital temtems in her um office all right i believe we'll be able to go ahead and do some progress on those items the very first thing is hmm onsen shima this is a newer area and we are only able to access it since we do have the permission from dr sasaya mascot here does help us through everything by the way it's actually not a temtem it's a guy who is wearing a mascot uh, i actually did not know this i really thought that was a new temtem that we are getting to see anyway talking to bahano here it surprises me that he is actually a really good friend of max hmm shiltama is a group of oh, right it seems that max was working with the clan because the clan actually invited them interesting it seems that bahono here also tried to leave but apparently they actually caught him in the rice fields which is the next area that we'll be exploring soon the plot is actually thickening uh sadly we have to tell him that max is no more but she was our friend and we did grew up together in zadar huh perhaps it's time for me to head back to dennis i'm kind of getting the hints that we probably would have to go back to zadar to talk to her family and see how she got recruited into bel soto clan hmm unfortunately we can't really explore this area as the whole um cut scene just forces us to go forward probably at some point we do get access to this area so we do have to wait for that but as our character does say right here we do have to make our way back to dennis all right that was a pretty good lead on that quest 
the only other thing left to do is enter the lab this is where Carlos is and this is where I would have to definitely go ahead and um, try to resolve the whole team issue hmm let's go ahead and help Carlos I think we are doing pretty good progress in this episode so I'm just gonna try and complete this quest before ending out this episode. I know we didn't really get too much things on the storyline but this is a part of the main quest so I guess we are kind of contributing to it in this episode. According to Carlos it seems that these three people are quite suspicious and he just wants us to go ahead and I guess talk to them get evidence and then recheck on those things that they have said to see if they're lying or not and see which one is the actual thief we can definitely do that let me quickly talk to all of these three people homura is the first one second one is dr wood um i did decide to just go ahead and talk to her first she does say that she was quite busy on that day. She left by 9 and she was the first one to leave the lab. Hmm. Let's ask her a couple of questions. She did go out to eat ramen at some point and we do have to ask the receptionist to um, check if what she said is actually true. The second one is Homuru who was spending all day working. He was with Alberto till 7.30 and then talked with Tatsuya, one of the designer guys. Dr. Susaya was in her office. Hmm. Probably we do have to go ahead and talk to Tatsuyu up in the designer or testing room. The last one is Alberto who did go to the designer floor at some point and talked to Aya. Hmm. We would have to talk to Aya herself to confirm if this is true. This is actually a real detective work and I'm pretty interested in it. Now we can definitely try talking to Carlos immediately but we don't get all of the options and the main reason for this is because we have yet to talk to the receptionist Aya and Tetsuyu. We do have to go through that order before we can do anything else. Coming downstairs, I do talk to the receptionist here. Apparently, Dr. Wood was the first one to leave and he does confirm that she did go out to have ramen for lunch, which means that she checks out pretty fine. Um, I'm gonna just head out to the testing floor and hmm, we don't really have anyone that we need in this floor. Although I did actually talk to all of these people here. Alright, we actually have Tatsuro there. Uh, the last one is the design floor. This is where we had Aya. She is right here and she actually confirms that... Um, hmm. She does say she doesn't remember Sasaya being in the office, which is a bit more trickier to confirm. At least we have Tatsuya here. He confirms that Homuru was in the main lab and he was playing games with him late at night. But one thing that I did observe is that you actually cannot see Dr. Sosaya's office from where you sit. So now that we are ready, I'm able to go ahead and talk to Carlos. We do have to choose the correct options and these options are dependent on the answers that each of the witnesses give. The next up we have Homuru. He claims that he saw Dr. Sasaya but you actually cannot see her. Hmm, weird thing that he lied. Lastly we have Homuru and we did speak to Aya. And Alright, there we go. So we get to know that Homuru is actually the lab assistant who has been stealing the digital temtems. He of course immediately runs away which is pretty frustrating. We also get a new temtem from Carlos. He gives us a Momo as a gift. He wants us to go ahead and chase this lab assistant so that we'll be able to capture him and get more details as to what 
as the reason why he's letting all of those digital temptum go as well as what is his hand with bel soto clan so definitely this is pretty interesting it was real detective work and i am super excited and happy that i was able to go through that although that quest is not yet completed now when we step outside it seems that a mysterious lady is hmm trying to help us all right she does say that some guy actually escaped into the rice fields which in this case is actually in the right side of the city actually instead of ending out the episode here in zipanku i decided to go ahead and make my way back to dennis I do have a quest to complete over there and we do have to anyway go back to Zadar to try and see what happened to Max. I think that is a really good place for me to end out this episode and we'll probably be able to pick it up from there. Anyway, here we are. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and head into the house where uh the person lives, which I believe is this one. Yep, here is a girl. She needed the manga. Laura is her name, and we do get a sensei robe for helping her. Now, the sensei robe that she gives us is actually quite helpful for Oshikai. At some point, I'll go ahead and equip it. But of course, um, I think this is a really good place for me to end out this episode. In the next one, we are gonna pick up from our hometown and try to complete the main quest as much as possible. I also do not believe there are any new places for us to really explore. But of course, hope you all enjoyed this episode today. If you did, please put a like, and if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel as it really helps me a lot. If you'd like to support me more on Patreon or Ko-fi, check out my links down in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one.